Hello, this is Brian Casey of The Imaging Wire. We are here at SIM 2024, the annual meeting of the Society for Imaging Informatics in Medicine. And I'm really pleased to be here in the booth of ClearPath with uh, the executive team, Lauren Brown, uh, Joey Chernet, and Camille Rami. Everybody, thanks for being with us. Thanks, Brian. So, Lauren, we talked last year at SIM in Austin, and it was your, your first SIM meeting, and now you're here at your second. Can you <clears throat> catch us up a little bit on the company and kind of what's been going on since then? Yeah, thanks, Brian. We're thrilled to be here and share with everyone that we've had tremendous growth the first half of this year. Um, we've since signed 200 new facility um, health system clients and clinic clients across the U.S., um, making our footprint now in nearly 40 states. And so um, we're really pleased with that, and we're happy to be sharing that here with you today. And I know, um, you know, 98% of the facilities that are turning to ClearPath already have an image sharing solution in place. And what's really important to note here is that there are still a lot of gaps that facilities are experiencing, even when having one, two, five different image sharing solutions in place before partnering with with ClearPath. And so. Folks are turning to us because we are filling in the gaps across different types of workflows within a healthcare enterprise. So legal, for example, historically, HIM has been kind of lobbying imaging requests over to radiology. There's disc burning again. That is a separate workflow that, that requires its own type of jurisdictional workflows and documents, not just imaging. So that's a, a major gap that we're filling in the marketplace today. Um, we also, under that umbrella, rolled out a new product for lien reduction requests. Um, so legal requesters need to request that information, those reductions, and we're excited to share with everyone that that is a new workflow that we support. Um, we also see in facilities with existing solutions a lot of gaps in terms of patient access. Um, I myself and my daughter have had a lot of imaging taken recently, and you know when I'm in those facilities that are using those legacy image sharing solutions and I'm requesting to leave with them, again, there's a lot of disk burning and a lot of inefficiency. S certain types of staff don't have access to those workflows, especially in the ED where we were as well. Um, transfers between health systems with this. So again, there's just so many areas within a healthcare enterprise where again, folks are turning to us to facilitate those, those types of workflows. So, and cool. congratulations. Congratulations to you guys over at Imaging Wire. You guys also experienced tremendous growth this past year. Oh yeah, it's been great. We just recently logged our 20,000th um, subscriber to the newsletter, so that's been really great. It's been a great year. So thanks for reminding me <laughs> of that, Camille. What what on the on the technology side? Uh, what are some of the highlights at ClearPath? Yeah, I'll sort of start off by saying that the center of our uh, technology is our connector. Our connector has now expanded uh, to not just have integrations with PACs, risk systems, but we do billing systems, siloed systems, EHRs, EMRs, you name it. Um, what the key component though is, is uh, because we are connected to so many different systems, we have the capability to build custom workflows that you know you may have a, a problem with internally. So um, that's where we get involved, we solution architect it and, and build it for you. And we have a really deep uh, dev team, uh, which is centered uh, specifically for healthcare that have you know seen it all, done it all, and uh, you know continue to innovate. So. Now, Jury, you're chief executive of ClearPath, and so you've got kind of a high-level look at the market for image exchange and healthcare IT. What are some of the biggest um, kind of perceptions that you're hearing about in the market versus the reality of what you really see? Yeah, so I think um, very common for us to you know, have this misconception with clients that it's a very substantial, heavy lift to go through an installation, and uh, while that's true with with others, um, I think a big differentiator with ClearPath is uh, very far from the truth. So, um, very straightforward. It's less than 30 minutes. We have proprietary patented technology that we're really excited about, and um, moreover, uh, integration customization, big part oftentimes with client integrations, is always free. So we don't charge for that. Um, I think it's also important to mention that as excited as we and our clients are about our technology. Um, we also take a lot of pride um, as, it, it just, as an organization in terms of being customer-centric 
um, very core part of our ethos, our culture. Um, you kind of go back to the development process for ClearPath. Um, while we relied a lot, relied upon a lot of deep domain expertise, um, core to our culture is engaging our clients, um, which includes you know everything from patients um, to legal requesters um, requesting access to healthcare information uh, to physicians throughout each individual node and phase of the development process. So we didn't really guess what our customers wanted. We actually constructed something that we knew was going to be readily accepted um, upon you know launch a few years back. All right, very good. Well, I'd like to thank everybody from ClearPath, Lauren Brown, Camille Rami, and uh, Joy Turnett. Thanks so much for being with us. Thank you, Brian. Thank you, Brian. Signing off from SIM 2024, my name is Brian Casey.